I I'm interesting like in how we make decision and how we like act in the situation that's so differently. Like since I was going through a lot of difficult time, like when I was in the early age. But for me, it's interesting to see like I never lost like the um, passion like to live like a good life and to um dream about future for better. So that gives me like a feeling of that I want to find out the question and I want to find out what keeps me keep on going. So that's when I began to thinking I want to study psychology. So that's also um connect to what I always like fun about is I like to help people in a way that I want to help young people as when I was young and nobody is around that it pushed me to be independent. So I like to um, learn psychology to know like what type of um, what type of environment that we live in that it changes the thinking from when you face a difficult time that you still can able to smile the next day. So that's what got me thinking I want to be a psychologist. I want to be the counselor for like young people. You know, when they face the transition from a young kid trying to find their identity. And I I have my own experience that I feel like it's hard. So I want to um, use what I will learn and then with my experience to help the young kid. I, I have to put taking care of my daughter at the first list when I was chosen to go to the class at the school. So I will like, um, finish all the um, time that at home that I have to manage that I will um, have the guide or the list for me to to like, okay, I finished my daughter, she go to school and for how long? And I will use that free time to manage my class, my activity at school. And by that time, I will have finished that and then I come back to um, my house, taking care of the, um, you know, cooking. And, um, it was not hard for me because um, it's still the same, like we had to eat and we had to rest while we study. So it doesn't come as like a conflict for me. It's more like um, I just need to manage my time that I have to eat, I have to rest. And what that's substance with when I'm taking care of my kid, that's when the time I'm rest and then I take care of the household stuff. So um, it was going well. And I finished the college and now this is my third year in school. And since like the uh, COVID, we all moved to online. And that will be more effective for me as I'm living at home. And there's more time for me to um, get a chance to be rest and, you know, be relaxed with all type of like accident happen, just like when my kids sick or when my kid need need the help, I can go easily. So um, it just balance, and you know you cannot see the future, but you can you can um. You can let yourself to get used to the routine that 
you have to finish um, one thing before next, and you also have to rest in the middle. So that way you can come back and then with full energy and then to begin your next routine. Everything will come with stretch. Um, I have um, like, I also had some augments because like for me, when I focus on my study, I would like to go on like for a long time and then and when my mind is stretched for all the study and learning all the new things and I cannot go back to like to like make like a nutritious meal for my kid. That's when I have problems with my husband. So the stretch will come and then the conflict will come. But I'll try my best and then to make balance. I know sometimes I was thinking the study is not important. And but I have to um also give time to my family, to my kids, because it's not um, just being a mom, but enjoying being a mom is, is also important to me. So um, my, my, I don't have tip like to say how to be, get over the stretch or completely get rid of stress. Um, I'll try to like, you know, learn, calm down, you know, give yourself some exercise time or give yourself some alone time and take care of yourself. Like that's number one. And that, and that way, you know, you can easy your stretch and then you can have like a good emotion to face your kid and to face like your husband with the conflict and all type of stuff. Well, um, as much as I can um, manage it with stress and other stuff, I still have emotion. I still have, you know, I'm still human. That I go through those moments and still continue with me. And I was kind of afraid and also kind of like, um, anxious about when I, when I in go to school in person, I see like, you know, walking and next to me is all those young, just finished high school, like 16, 17, 18 years old kids next to me that I have like thinking, mm, yeah, it is what I have to go like, you know, next to them to go challenge what I can do. So um, it's hard, like being the oldest person in the class, especially when you're thinking like, hey, the professor is like same age as you. I mean, of course, the first thing you kind of feel like embarrassing, you know, why, why you come to school at this age and what you're trying to do. So to answer that, that was more, what motivated me to stay. So it's like, um, I know my age is not like the typical age at school. But um, since I know my age is not like a advantage or for me to look for like my dream or to get what I want. So I'll focus on what I can do at the moment. So I'll focus on like, um, focus on like reminding myself that my opportunity is what I have right now. So I have to like really want to see um, what I can do with it. I mean, before when I lost the chance to continue education, 
it's not what I dream about and I still fond of learning new things. So um so gaining knowledge is that what makes me really have like is the challenge of like my age. So I I'll be more like stable in school. So I can see like a lot of young kids just like when I was young, like they have no worry about the future and then um sometimes they will just pass the day, just go flow with whatever. So I can see my age as an advantage that gives me a warning that, you know, I have to catch my opportunity and I have to use it effectively. Since, you know, I already this at this age. So it, it's my stretch, it become my become like a push force that helped me to face what is I need to do. So um age is not really a bundle. It's more like how you think that it will change that stretch to become like a you know it will become like a challenge to you. So um at the beginning I, I go back to school I was just thinking that get a degree and go out to have a comfortable comfortable job and that's it. And I've been thinking like oh I can I can be like um a better person or I can do um, like those cool job. So um as I'm learning and I get back my confidence that you know at no matter my age, I still could, you know, use what I learned to able to help others. So um when when you're thinking about yeah, age is my um it's like an obstacle, but for me, I already changed the thinking. Like age is what I have. I cannot change, but the opportunity in front of me that I have to catch. I'm still learning and growing every day, and I also face many stretch and you know, and this good moment and this bad moment, you know. I just want to say that um, we have to learn to accept ourselves and then love ourselves. And when you start like care for yourself, your feeling, and then you start thinking like you have the ability, you know, we have the ability to overcome like a stretch moment and the difficult situation. So at that time you realize, you know, you're strong. And then you're able to take care of your kid and your family. So you have to um really give yourself the credit by loving yourself and care for the emotion that come up with you, like stretch, happy, or any other emotion at the moment. Like just no matter what you're thinking you will do as a mom or a future um, student or a worker at the work, workplace, no matter like what is your future next step going to be, you have to be like understand your own emotion, your feeling, to be able to stay strong and to be confident that face all the moments that come in, good or bad, as long as you know you love yourself and then you're able to love your kid and care for others. When when I've been a mom, I was thinking 
are the traditional in our society that thinking doesn't give mom credit. And we often follow that in thinking being a mom is just um, doing a no credit job. But since we already put the title, like a description, so we have to admit that being a mom is something really special. So um, but being a mom doesn't mean you have to lose yourself. So well, you able to, and then, I mean, just find something you, you like. Don't need to be like, I want a dream in 20 years or something. Yeah. It just be the moment that you happy with and then go do something or learn something new for yourself. Um, yeah, advice, most I could think about for myself is just like, give, give yourself a chance, like, you know, breathe and give yourself a chance to be happy, like take care of yourself. So, 